uh, it kind of leads to more of a balanced lifestyle. And when we eat what we produce, it, it's more of a healthy lifestyle. Uh, the uh, because our soil here is not good where we live, we do everything in raised beds, and we have I think 22, 24 raised beds, and and uh, we got a little bit of everything, and you can see what they are down there. We have we have bok choy, we have uh, Asian vegetables, we have onions. Today we're planting tomatoes and peppers, and they'll be down the tomatoes are there, peppers here, and the tomatoes down there too. We got different types. We got romas and we got um, indeterminates, so um, which I think are early girls we like. Because of the climate we've lived in, we really have to do, use our water sparingly. So we use everything on a drip tape. So a drip tape has, these drip tapes have a emitter every 12 inches. And basically we bury them an inch or two under the ground. They should be about two inches, but it's kind of hard getting that sometimes. And then everything we have is on a timer. So we run it automatically. So when we go out cheaping, we don't have to worry about it. The um, garden gets watered automatically. So mm -hmm. we're, we're good with that. Today, what we're doing, we're going to refurbish this bed because they sink over the year, since last year. And so what I use to refurbish them with, I absolutely love this Miller's compost. Uh, it's very, very good. And then on top of that, I put in a bag of miracle Grow garden soil. And that helps feed the plant. That gets them a really good start. So, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to open this, uh, these bags up, throw them in here, spread them out, put this in and mix it. And then I'll bury the, uh, the drip tape back. Pretty smart, huh? Wow, that's good. Good looking soil. No, it's it's compost. That's why. This compost is a little wet, but just a little. <laughs> just a little, but it's okay. It, uh, it compost. Quick Imagine that. <laughs> and it's wet. I like playing cow poop. <laughs> Do you want to help playing? <laughs> There's some more, buddy. Thank you, bud. Such a great helper. Once I get that spread out, I work about two inches into the soil. We have different types of raised beds here. We have the tall ones, we have short ones. And for what we grow, the tall ones are much better, except for the indeterminate tomatoes. The other thing about gardening is it does give you a very good uh, 
exercise that program. What are you going to plant in that bed? This will be peppers in this bed. And one reason for that is <clears throat> peppers won't get about that tall, but easy to pick with these tall beds. Are these the ones that you're going to Yeah, those planting? are the peppers I'll be planting. So we have yellow. Sweet rain rainbow, we have poblano ancho, we have sweet banana, mm, my favorite. And for the tomatoes, he has early girl and bush early girl. Oh, that's nice. I started some hot peppers too inside. Oh, look at this here. Hang on, I'm going to shelter them. We have Roma here. Are the Romas goes to this bed? Romas, paste tomato. Mm -hmm. We love canning. I mean, we. I love to eat can. He loves canning. And I love that he loves canning. <laughs> and some more Roma. Because it's very convenient for us to can them and then mix it with ground meat and it's so convenient to make a spaghetti sauce so it's so easy okay you ready for me to plant <laughs> 